thank you guys for being here today. I'm so glad that you guys took the time out of your day to view this video. We're going to try to raise your vibration, raise your frequency, take your mind off of what's going on in the world today. Because collectively, we're all one. So we got to function as one. So hopefully, with what I share with you today, I could put a smile on your face. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. You are truly appreciated. Thank you so much. Check out that modern day warrior, Kerry Von Eren, by chapter uh, creator painting right there. But brother, man, that is awesome. He blessed us today with the portrait of the modern day warrior, the Texas tornado, WCCW zone, Texas own NWA champ, intercontinental champ, Kerry Von Eric. Thank you so much. Follow him on Instagram at Chapter Creator. It's Duran Customs. Duran Bros Collectibles. Custom underscore wrestling underscore lucha underscore figures on Instagram. Thank you so much for taking your time on your day to view this. I got something special. I got two, three great customs I want to share with you guys. And some other figures that we're going to review. So, let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into it right now. Let's get into it. The first one I want to share with you guys is this great... He was a great wrestler. In the 70s, he would, he would he was a heel. He wrestled the likes of Bruno San Martino. You know, even, um, I believe, superstar Billy Graham. He was a big guy, one of the giants, one of the in-ring giants, brother. And um, in his later years, he was alongside um, color commentary with his partner, Bobby the Brain Heenan, brother. You know, and I'm talking none other than the great, late Gorilla Monsoon, brother. This is the Ram Customs, the Ram Bros Collectibles version, paying tribute to the late, great, Gorilla Monsoon. And here it is, brother. Look at that. Check that out. He even had a run in with Muhammad Ali when he, uh, Fireman carried him in a ring after destroying his opponent. Man, so this is based off of that. Go back and do your, do your research and check out that, that match. And at the end, how he did that to uh, the late, great Muhammad Ali also. But this is the Ram Bros Collectibles, the Ram Customs version, paying tribute, paying uh, homage to Gorilla Monsoon. I think that's a pretty cool figure, man. If I do say so myself. Check that out, man. Who would like that? Who would like that in their collection? In your man cave, in your collectible shop. You want it, you know when you could find it at. Store name, not item name. I think that's pretty cool. And look at that. He fits it. He's not the same size as a... I don't want to give away the secrets, but... You know who I used to make this guy. And it was a couple. Because we, we, we used like two or three different figures. With the traditional black... All black with the red... With the red stripe at the on the side... Burgundy boots with the white laces and the white trim at the bottom. Black knee pads with the white on the back. Old school style, brother. And a black top, wrestling top with the white um, tape on the wrist. Doesn't get no better than that, brother. I don't know if you guys been noticing, but I've been working on the lateral deltoids, brother. And the pictorial muscles up front. Alex uh, will be with us later on this week. I told him he has a Bright future. He reminds me of a young Sean Mooney. So he'll be here later on, brother, later on this week. Let me jump into another one. This is not a custom, but I just want to share with you guys because I had to order him. I had to order him open, but I ordered him. I think he's perfect like that because I was going to paint the skin tone on him. And since I, I had the other two customs that I, I was, um, I'm going to, I share with, I'm going to share had the red stripe on the side. I was going to paint the skin tone on this and make it pop, but I think he, 
you know what? As a customizer, for my rendition of it, I had to step back and say, because I'm a big fan of Jen, it was perfect the way that it was. So why mess with it? Why mess with perfection, brother? And I'm talking about George the Animal Steel, Jack's brother, because that's one of my favorite toy companies. I think that's pretty cool. Look, he, it kind of seems like he has a hunchback. I know he did movies, too. There was a recent movie that he had did not too long ago, because I believe my buddy Jesse... Jesse Hernandez was a part of it also too or took him there something like that I think it came out with Johnny Depp I forgot the name of that movie but if anybody knows the name of it write it in the comments brother but check that out I just wanted to share that with you guys I think that's pretty cool I know the Mattel one was pretty cool too and it came with the teddy bear that he would bring to the to the ring that he would carry when, uh, during the time that he uh, wrestled Macho Man Randy Savage but I think that's pretty cool already. Look at that. Reeks at a certain angle. See it like that? Looks like the exactly the way that he he was. So I said, man, I don't know if I could do any better than that. I think I'll just keep him like that. So I just wanted to share that with you. So the next custom figure that I want to share with you guys, brother, right now. Was an AWA superstar, brother, in the early 60s, late 60s, early 70s, uh, throughout the 70s and early 80s. In the late 80s, after I believe uh, 88, he managed the powers of pain there in the WWF, brother. But he was, uh, he, you know, when I did my research on him, he was a patriot. He served in the, in the military. But then he later on in his character... He portrayed a German from the AWA, and I'm talking none other than the Baron Von Raschke, brother. And like the Mr. Von Erich back there, brother, long live the Von Erichs. His trademark, his trademark was the Iron Claw, or called the Brain Claw. So check it out. Tell me what you think. Durant Customs paying tribute, playing homage, my rendition of Baron Von Raschke, brother. Check it out. Tell me what you think. I mean, what you think of that? <clears throat> I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. He's got the traditional black, black um, tights with the red stripe going down the sides. The black boots with the white laces and a white trim at the bottom, brother. He's got that iron claw ready to go against his opponent. The traditional bald head. I threw some hair. I pinned the skin tone on him. And I threw some hair on his chest, brother. And if you notice, what was a trademark for today was the black trunks with the red stripes down the, down the side. So I had to throw him in, brother. But I think that's pretty cool. So if you want to add him to your AWE collection, brother, you know where to find him. You know where to hit it up at. Store name, not item name, brother. Legends of the Squared Circle on Facebook. Chaff the Creator creates the portrait, so look him up on Instagram. Check out the lateral deltoids, brother, when I'm flexing on the mic. I got one more. One more custom figure that I would like to share with you guys today. One more. I had to, man, because, I mean, I'm a WCCW guy, man. I'm a Texas wrestling fan. Got the NWA title there. We got Kerry Von Erich up in the back, brother. Look at that. This guy did not know he was the light, brother. Man, especially at, during his later years when he was wrestling with the prosthetic foot and to go on and accomplish what he accomplished during those later years, the Intercontinental Champion to perform the way he performed during that time. Remember, back in those days, there wasn't that much technology to have a, a, the, the way the prosthetics are today. And the mobility, the agility that he still had and could carry a match like that. Man, bro, you don't even know the inspiration that he was and that he continues to be. That's why I love the Von Erics. That's why we're at, right here we pay tribute to the Von Erics. Long live the Von Erics, brother, and their legacy. 
man, above and beyond, brother. Above and beyond. 1984, the Parade of Champions, brother. In memory of David Von Eren. Man, I wish I would have... I wish I would have been able... I was going to share David Von Eric in the last video. I didn't get a chance. I already shipped that one out. But I wish because... 1984. The Parade of Champions, brother. The backslide to win the NWA, NWA Heavyweight Championship. In honor of David Von Eric. I did a custom Hasbro of, of Kerry Von Eric wearing that same gear, brother. Tell me what you guys think of that. And look at that. He's got the hands ready to pre press flay or anybody else who tries to step in the ring with the modern day warrior, brother. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, man. So, along with that, along with this custom, let's carry on because it just keeps carrying on. And it's by coincidence. It's by coincidence. And if you've never seen David Von Eric. By far the greatest in-ring general of all Von Eriks. Didn't have the body type. But man, this guy could cut a promo. This guy's ability and agility in the ring was superb. He reminded me of a Jake the Snake. And I'm only saying that because I, I got Harley Race back to the picture, brother. And I'm looking at it as I'm looking into the camera right now. And if you haven't seen those videos, you go back and you take a look at David Von Eric versus Harley Race the few times that they matched up. Wow. Long live the Von Eric's brother. But let me get back to Kerry. And who he faced in his later years. And this was during the time that he, was, he had that prosthetic foot. And he, when the companies were unifying the titles of the WCCW <laughs> and the AWA, it was... Kerry Von Aaron versus Jerry the King Lawler, brother, in Super Clash 3. Man, what a bloody match that was. And that was a great gem right there when I found that. That was a great match. And if you guys haven't watched that one, boy, you bet. You got a treat for yourself. Go back and watch that. And I'm only saying that, and I'm only bringing up Jerry the King Lawler because I'm going to share one of his Jack's um, WWF figures. And I believe it's a, and I believe he wore this when he faced Kerry Von Erich. I believe that was the same uh, outfit. I'm not too sure, but I believe so. Or maybe it was reversed. Black. No, I think it was like this. I don't know. I gotta go back and check. But this is a Bone Crusher, 1997 Jack Pacific brother, and it's by coincidence that all this comes into play, and it leads up to Kerry Von Erich and Jerry the King Lawler. And I think that's a pretty cool figure there, if I do say so myself. Man, check that out. Bad boys. And man, could this guy cut a promo? Talk about being so witty. And not only that, his ability and his agility. And he ran his own wrestling business in Memphis for years, brother. Jerry the King Lawler. Check out the back of that, brother. Wow. And it's by coincidence. Well, not by coincidence, but I kind of said, hey, this can all follow through, you know, with uh, what, what's next. Well, what's next? Let me jump right into it because I shared my custom figure of this great <laughs> Giants and the Giant tributes that we were doing with uh, Big John Studd, King Kong Bundy, and... Uh, Big Cat, Ernie Ladd, and all those big greats in the long Gorilla Monsoon. But let me show you this other one of Kamala, because Kamala's character was created in Memphis by Jerry the King Lawler. But check out this Kamala. Check out this Kamala right here by uh, Figures Toy Company. And I think that's a pretty cool. If you're a wrestling fan you love, and you're a figures collector, you like all these. I mean, it, and that's in pretty good condition. That's in pretty good condition. Wow, I think that's pretty cool. That cloth, that cloth there um, actually looks, uh, dress actually looks better than the one on Jack's because the Jack's one was too short. So, I mean, check out all the uh, legends in the back of there. So if you guys don't know, 
this that in 19 in 2000 wow in 2000 20 years ago uh figure story did these released these and i don't know why i was thinking it was 98 99 because i'm old and you know my memory slips me sometimes brother it slips on me it goes and it comes so you know but that's pretty cool I think that's a pretty cool one right there. So if you don't like the, the Jax version of it or the Mattels, this is a pretty cool next one. And he has the white half a moon on the belly. That's the way I painted mine. It's the, the, the old, old school one. He used to uh, wrestle Andre the Giant in the steel cage, brother. So if you don't know, you better go back and do your research. You know, because right here we're paying tribute to the legends of the world circle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. Thank you so much for being a part of this video and taking your time out of your day. Check out that Kerry Von Erich portrait in the back, brother. Check the Instagram. Bless us with that. Thank you so much. And check out his other artwork on Instagram under Chap the Creator. Thank you so much for taking your time to view this video. Hopefully we raise your vibration. Hopefully we put a smile on your face and raised your frequency and took your mind off of things. Thank you so much and see you guys next time.